Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how I made this delicious and juicy shawarma. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Amelicious Foodie and thank you for joining us. For this recipe, we're going to be needing Lebanese bread. You can get it from the store. I got mine from Woolworths. You're also going to be needing some sausages. I got the skinless franks and you're also going to be needing some protein. I'm using chicken for my shawarma. Feel free to use some goat meat or beef. Now you're going to season and fry your chicken. Once that's ready, set it aside. Now you're also going to do the same to your sausages. Once it's ready, set it aside. Now you're going to make your sauce. The sauce that I'll be using for this recipe, I'm going to be using some mayonnaise. A lot of mayonnaise, guys. Please do not skip any steps that I'm showing you in this video. And I'm also going to be adding some ketchups to this sauce as well. You're going to need some powdered milk. Um, and you're going to add a little bit of water. I would advise using about two and a half tablespoons of powdered milk and you're going to make it into this consistency and add it into your mayo and your ketchups. And finally, you're going to need some chili just for some heat. Okay, it's not going to be spicy. I promise you. Now you're going to mix all this up together. Trust the process guys and you're going to get this beautiful color, this wonderful consistency. This is what you're going to be using for your shawarma. Now, once your chicken is ready, you're going to make it up into shreds like you can see in this video. The vegetables that I'm going to be using is simple, carrots and cabbage. And I've shredded them like you can see or I've cut them thinly like you can see. Now I've added my shawarma sauce to this and I'm going to stir it up to make this nice creamy coleslaw-ish salad, okay? Now you're going to mix them up the chicken and the vegetables to get a wonderful con consistency like this and you're going to go on to your next step which is splitting your Lebanese bread or your shawarma bread into two they come apart so nicely and once that is done you're going to get some of your shawarma sauce and pour it or put it onto your bread or layer it onto your bread whatever you want to say and you can start to add your vegetable and your protein or your chicken mix you can add as much as you want depending on how bulky you want your shawarma to be i wanted mine to be like super delicious and super rich and compact so i went generous okay and you're gonna add your sausages or your franks onto this you can use one you can use two i used two for mine and i finished it up with some of that shawarma sauce and you're going to firmly roll it onto each other and seal it up okay you don't want it to be too loose and you're going to try and seal it up with some of that shawarma sauce and this is what it will look like right now you're going to transfer that onto a pan and you are going to make it brown on both sides. You're going to heat it up, okay? You want it to be heated up on both sides. And this is what it should look like. Please do not get tempted to dig in yet. You want to wrap this up because this can get really juicy. This can get really runny. You want to wrap this up in a foil like you can see me doing. I got about five shawarmas from that sauce and that vegetables that you saw me doing. Now guys, this is the final product. Tell me, did you enjoy watching this video? Please give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.